when we talk about the environment, have you noticed that we always hear the word sustainability? But what is sustainability? Why is sustainability important? And is it hard to live sustainably? Hello, science fans. My name is Chona. I'm your resident Filipina scientist. Join us in today's episode as we try and figure out what sustainability really is. 90.8% of the world are able to get food when they're hungry. They can drink water when they're thirsty. And just over 50% of the world have access to the internet and enjoy electricity to keep them warm or cool, light up their homes, and power up a huge variety of modern gadgets. It is a comfortable life for some, but in the future, we might not be able to enjoy these things anymore because the raw materials and resources have run out. To make sure that future generations enjoy everything that we enjoy today, we need something called sustainability. And sustainability is one of the puzzles that scientists and governments are trying to solve right now for everybody's future. But what is sustainability? Okay, try to imagine that you have a cookie jar that is always full. And no matter how many cookies you eat, it keeps refilling. Sounds amazing, right? But sadly, the world doesn't work that way. The cookies will eventually run out if we keep on eating them. And just like those cookies, many of the things that we use every day have a limit on the amount that we can use or take out. It might take hundreds or thousands of years for some of them to completely run out. But in the end, these resources will completely disappear in the future. And in fact, some of these materials and resources are running out now and are getting harder to find. And some are even causing problems right now because there isn't enough for everyone. Because there isn't enough for everyone. And so, sustainability looks at ways of making sure that these resources last a very long time or even forever. Just like the cookie jar that keeps on refilling, we can also look at sustainability in the perspective of how we eat the cookie or how we use our resources. The resources we use today are important to many areas of our lives, including work, transport, school, governments, and many more. And these will also be important to people living in 10, 50, or 100 years in the future. But the problem is, they might run out by then. What? So, if we are to all continue to get along and live happily without running out of the things that we use today, we need to live a sustainable lifestyle. And this could involve newly invented materials that we can quickly and easily produce without harming the planet. Or improved ways of living our lives that require less from the planet. Sadly, a lot of people think sustainability is hard, maybe even impossible to achieve. But scientists, businesses, artists, communicators, and other groups all over the world are hard at work trying to figure out how to make this happen. But we need your help. For example, at the moment, our electricity mostly relies on oil, coal, and natural gas, which are all fossil fuels. They are all plant and animal matter that died millions of years ago. None of them are sustainable, and so they will eventually disappear in the future. But over the last 50 years, New technologies have come around to create electricity and other power sources a little bit more sustainably. And this includes solar power, wind turbines, geothermal energy, tidal power, and even hydroelectricity, all of which come from renewable forces of nature. But these technologies have yet to be perfected. So we can start investing in them or we can also contribute by lessening our energy consumption. We can turn off lights, use air conditioning less, and be mindful of how we use energy in our homes. Some crops that we grow are also not good for the environment. 
palm oil farming, for example, leads to the cutting down of vast rainforests in order to make way for more farmland. And this is not sustainable. In this area, sustainability means that we ensure local landscapes are not damaged by farming. We can also contribute by using alternative materials in our local palenques and make sure to talk to your local farmers. And so, science has spoken. Sustainability is about technology and ways of living that make sure there will be enough resources for future generations. And as the United Nations said, Sustainability is about meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future to meet their own needs. Given all this information, do you think it's hard to try and live sustainably? Can you think of other ways we can contribute in order to create a more sustainable lifestyle? Share your comments, ideas, and theories in the comments section below. And to learn more about the environment, please check out our environmental science playlist where we have a set of videos that can help. Check out our social media pages also, where we share regular tips to help the environment. Thank you so much for joining us explore the topic of sustainability. See you around in our next episodes.